Hi there, uh, this is demonstration number two of the Save DBF Excel 2007 add-in uh, where I show you how to manipulate Excel files. So in this demonstration I start out with an Excel file, I manipulate it and then I save it as a native DBase file and I demonstrate some of the features of the add-in itself while I'm doing that. Okay. So um, first thing what I'll do is I'll just open up a uh, file that I already prepared it's called big file Excel SX which tells me this is an Excel 2007 plain and, and simple Excel file that has a large number of records obviously and so I open this up it's gonna take a while and now this is an Excel file that looks like a database and it has uh, about yes 106,658 records uh, so it's a rather large file and it starts with an A1 that's the prerequisite that any kind of Excel file has to start with A1 and the first row has to be the field names okay so then I can add to this or insert new ones so I'll just add a field called date field okay and I'm gonna make this to be today's date it's a good thing about Excel you can enter handy formulas and just to make it very I'm gonna add this integer field to it because the uh, date is a number in in Excel it's just formatted as a date so this way I end up with a whole bunch of this 35 days after today and I'm just gonna copy this down so now it's copied down for all of them all the records and in fact I'll just delete a few on top I'll just demonstrate another thing and I'm gonna add uh, I don't know a currency field okay so currency field and this is going to be I'm just gonna grab a random number rand between is the one that I'll probably use essentially it returns a random, random number between two numbers so I'll just use this one and so the bottom should be let's say a hundred the top should be a thousand and I'm going to add to this the double precision field whatever it is it doesn't really matter just and I just end up with a currency okay and so I just copy and paste this down to get them and they all change because it's a random is a dynamic a function in Excel so every time I change something it would change so obviously if I want it to be fixed to these numbers I'll just copy and paste special as values and if once I did that these no, don't change anymore I could do them with these ones but they don't change the today is still today hopefully we'll finish it today and I'll save it so now I created a database looking um, Excel file starts in A1 it's called sheet one if I want to name it something better I'm gonna call it let's say big uh, big file that's gonna be good enough big file one if I have many of them just just I rename the worksheet okay so that's uh, that's the file so now I'd like to save it as a DBF file obviously this is pretty pretty large file 106,000 records well, actually over 106,000 records you couldn't have been uh, doing this in in earlier versions of Excel in fact you couldn't even open up more than 65,000 records in, in in DBF file in previous versions so that's a good advantage of Excel 2007 so I'll click the save DBF uh, menu item the add-in itself and I click the save DBF button I'm on this worksheet starts in A1 first row is the uh, the field names and I click it um, it will tell me that this file contains a large number of records saving the changes may take a few moments so please be patient and right away it gives me an error and this sets actually just tells me another great feature of the add-in that it actually checks the naming conventions of, of the add-in or oh, sorry uh, of, the, of the field names that DBase has certain standards you have to follow and what the problem is right now is that the date field um, contains a space and 
the base field names cannot be longer than 10 characters long starts with, they have to start with a letter and they cannot contain spaces or other weird characters so I'll replace it as suggested by an underscore okay and now that I did this um, it of course checks uh, long field names as well so if I change this to a longer than 10 character field name like something like that if I click save DBF it tells me it's long tells me that there is an error now this is the one highlighted we see it puts in a cell comment that tells, that tells me that the cell field name is too long try current field XX so which actually chops it down to 10 characters so I'll just change it to back to what it was and so this is a great feature of the add-in uh, the other great feature is that if you remember all the versions of Excel if you save the DBF file a lot of times you had to trick um, the file uh, if you had a lot of uh, had to trick Excel if you had a lot of blank records maybe at the very beginning because Microsoft uh, conversion was notorious about and it still is notorious about um, guessing the field name based on just a few records and so the add-in doesn't do that the add-in actually is pretty smart about this so um, it will still identify this as a, as, a, as, a, as a date field or supposedly and what I can also do you see all these character fields are four character long I believe by design but if I somewhere in the middle make one of them longer I don't know a couple more A's so this is now six I believe so six should be the the length it will identify find that record actually the add-in will find it and it will set the size that accommodates this field size okay so now if I click save DBF it tells me that takes some time and then it goes through the records it's actually pretty fast um, and then it offers me a name which is in this case big file one new.dbf so I can name it anything I want so I'll just leave it that for now and once I did that the conversion is done everything is good um, so this is the big file I'm gonna save the actual Excel file as well so I don't lose this stuff okay and now if I go into my save DBF folder there's my big file new DBF okay so I have a DBF viewer that I can use to kind of demonstrate what it looks like in, in actual native DBase format. So if I open this up and drag and drop it onto my viewer, so you can see a few things. Uh, one is that the first field is an integer field. I'm going to drag this so you might be able to see all this other stuff as well. Um, let me close everything else for now. So what you can see is that the integer field is identified with length of 3 because that's a maximum so it accommodates that double precision field is identified uh, the character field is a C6 remember that there are so there is one record with 6 length of 6 for the character so it finds that it accommodates this it has a boolean field which is called logical in DBase it has a date field it identified the blanks it still identified this at the, uh, the date field and then it has the currency field as with the precision of 2 which it's supposed to be even if it's longer than that because it's a currency okay and it has 106,658 records so um, you can see the field structure right here as well and you can also see the header which will tell me that this is a essentially a dbase 4 file which with record size of 59 field count of 6 and the last update was today Okay, so it was just created. It's a native file, looks good, everything is fine. Okay, so that's basically all I wanted to demonstrate. So you can start with an Excel file and save it as a DBF file as long as you start in A1. First row is the field names. You have to accommodate the DBase field naming conventions, otherwise the add-in will find those and it will not move on until you fix those and it can accommodate uh, very large files I tried this with uh, I believe 750,000 records no problem Excel can accommodate Excel 2007 can accommodate up to a million records so that should be uh, plenty uh, for most applications thank you very much